On an island called Never Never Land lives a child named Peter Pan. This child never grows older. Hey, I think that's Peter Pan over there. Peter Pan. One evening, Wendy was reading an interesting fairy tale to her brothers, John and Michael. Just then, they could hear someone laughing merrily at the window. Michael, the youngest, looked up and saw a child. The child was listening with his ear pressed against the window. Wendy, look over there! There's someone at the window! Wendy opened the window. Peter Pan and Tinkerbell flew into the room. Who are you? I am Peter Pan, and this is Tinkerbell. Peter Pan told the children about his adventures. He told them about Never Never Land and Captain Hook. The children wanted to visit Never Never Land, where Peter Pan lived. All right, let's all go to Never Never Land. Tinkerbell sprinkled gold dust around the room. Then the children floated into the air with a poof. Peter Pan, Tinkerbell, Wendy, John and Michael flew all night long. Finally, they got to Never Never Land. Children never grow older there. There it is, Never Never Land. That's where I live. Wendy, look at that, a pirate ship. Really? Where? At last, Peter Pan, Tinkerbell, Wendy, and her two brothers arrived at Never Never Land. As soon as they arrived at the island, Wendy was shot by an arrow. The children there thought she was one of Captain Hook's evil pirates. When the arrow hit her, she fainted. Wendy, wake up! <laughs> Wendy! <laughs> Open your eyes, Wendy. After a while, Wendy woke up. Fortunately, the arrow had hit her necklace, a string of acorns. I'm really sorry. I thought you were one of Captain Hook's pirates. That's okay. I wasn't hurt. Thank goodness. I was very shocked too. The children were very happy to see that Wendy was all right. Only Tinkerbell was pouting. She liked Peter Pan a lot, and she was jealous because he cared so much about Wendy. On the other side of the island lived a pirate called Captain Hook. He hated Peter Pan very much. One day, while they were fighting, Captain Hook fell into the sea. An alligator bit off his right arm. Arr, oh no! Arr, that alligator is here again! The alligator had swallowed Captain Hook's arm with his watch on it. So every time they saw the alligator, they could hear the watch ticking. Arr, Captain Hook! Peter Pan has finally left his house. All right, let's go and capture the children. Arr. Peter Pan was flying over the sea. He was going to the mermaid's island. Suddenly, he could hear a tiny frightened voice in the distance. Peter Pan went closer. He saw Lily, the daughter of the Indian chief. She was tied to a big rock out in the sea. A scary alligator was coming toward her with its mouth wide open. Lily, what happened? Captain Hook kidnapped me and tied me up like this. Peter Pan fought the alligator bravely and saved Lily. Lily was returned safely to her father. 
The Indian chief was very happy and held a big party for Peter Pan. Lily and Peter Pan danced and had a good time. At the same time, something terrible was happening at Peter Pan's house. Captain Hook and his pirates broke into the house while Wendy was baking a cake. They came to kidnap the children. <laughs> Captain Hook took all the children and Wendy to his pirate ship. Tinkerbell was very scared. She hid in a corner and watched as the children were taken away. When Peter Pan returned home, he was very shocked. Tinkerbell, what happened? Where are Wendy and the children? Huh, you always worry about Wendy. Captain Hook took everybody with him. Peter Pan was horrified. He flew as fast as he could to Captain Hook's pirate ship. Tinkerbell went along. Captain Hook was forcing the children onto the ship. He was planning to toss them into the sea. Hurry! Get on board quickly! Peter Pan should be here to see you eaten by the alligator! Arr, 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 arr. Just then, Peter Pan was flying toward them. Peter Pan fought Captain Hook to save the children. You evil pirate, let my friends go right now! You, such a small child, dare to fight me, Captain Hook? Here's my sword! Get ready to die! Arr! Captain Hook attacked Peter Pan with his long sword. Peter Pan flew up to escape the blow. At that moment, Captain Hook lost his balance and fell into the sea with a splash. The alligator was there in the water. Ah! Ah! Oh! Yeah! Peter Pan! Oh! Yeah! 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 Our help! Our help! It was the same alligator that had bitten off Captain Hook's arm. He had to escape from the alligator once again. Tinkerbell sprinkled gold dust around the pirate ship. The ship flew to Wendy's house in a flash. Wendy asked Peter Pan to stay with her family. But Peter Pan wanted to remain a child forever. He went back home in the pirate ship. Goodbye, Peter Pan! I will visit you in Never Never Land next year. Bye! Wendy, John, and Michael visited Never Never Land once every year. They had wonderful adventures with Peter Pan. Peter Pan was always the same, a child who never grew older. Wasn't that a thrilling adventure? I wish Peter Pan would take me to Never Never Land, too! <laughs> <laughs>